Hey everyone, D.W. Harris, and I've got my uh, Crossman Shockwave 22 caliber brake barrel. That uh, I want to do some pellet testing. I've got four uh, pellets that I want to shoot at uh, target down at 27 yards. And uh, the uh, 22 caliber Shockwave is a very budget friendly gun, inexpensive. Got a real inexpensive scope on it that's not even adjustable, and uh, I've, I got this. Actually, I got this one at Walmart, so you can just go and pick one of these things up. And uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty fun gun to shoot. You know, out in your yard, it doesn't make too much noise. It's not going to bother your neighbors. Shoot it in your garage, your basement, or whatever. But anyways. Let me get the camera pointed down at the targets down 27 yards down range and now uh, we'll see what kind of results we get with these pellets. Okay, let's get zoomed in on those targets right there. Alright, I'm going to start off with the H&N uh, Terminator 16.36 frame and uh, so we can get uh, four shots on each target and see where we're at. And starting with that target on the left. Oh, those look pretty decent. Let's go five. Just uh, that'll show if we're gonna get any flyers out of any of these pellets. Okay, that's five of the uh, ancient and terminators. Now I've got uh, next up. We've got JTS 18.1 grain, and uh, let's see how those do on the next target over. That's one. Five of those JTS 18.1 grains. Now I've got the uh, H&N Barracuda Hunter and it's 18.21 grains. Let's 
try five of those and see how those do. and then Barracuda Hunters. Those, those seem to shoot pretty well. Now next up, the last fella that I've got. It's a JSB 15.89 grain. And uh, see how these ones do. Five of them. The uh, JSB uh, 15.89 grain. So let me go down and get the targets, bring them up here, and see close up. See what we got. All right. Here's here's our targets. And uh, first target, the Terminators. Uh, there's two of them that are out. My washer covers them all up except for two. And uh, let's see, what was the second pellet there? Oh yeah, the JTS. Uh, those, those we've got two out. I think this one belongs over here. It just flew over there. So yeah, these the JTS ones are no good. For the shock wave. These other ones didn't do too bad, but we did have a flyer here and one out. And uh, the ones that did the best, the JSB 15.89s, can cover them all up except for one. Almost cover them all up. And so that'd be the pellet that you might want to try. And that's it right here. That seems to shoot the best in the uh, Crossman Shark Wave 22 caliber. Um, let's put you up here. Uh, 
And uh, that that's going to be it for this one. Just wanted to do a quick uh, quick shooting to see which see which one shot the best. And uh, seems like a real nice gun. Get the trigger uh, safety right in front of the trigger. Push it forward to shoot it. And a uh, few guys that are not familiar with the brake barrel. Uh, this is how you load it. You just break the barrel like that. That's how it got its name. It's got a nitro piston inside. That's what gives you the charge. So you don't need to fill it with air, pump it up, or CO2 or anything. It's just all self-contained for the power. And then you just take your, you just take your pellet and put it right in, right there, right in the barrel. And that's to save the off. Shoot it. That's all there is to it. So, <clears throat> thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.